So what does this BBYG reunion mean to you? memories of Bob and Lois? I think my fondest memories really are, are of Lois, which taught me the new club. That was when I became a Christian. I was nine years old, and I was amazed at how she made the Bible come to life. And when I was in high school, a little old lady, Edna Smith, sponsored me to be a summer missionary for me. Those two weeks of training that summer were one of the pinnacles of my spiritual life. And to this day, I am active in the Child Evangelist Fellowship. Um, my children became my little helpers in our neighborhood the news club and in church. And my little granddaughter is learning things now about CDF. Remember the flannel graphs? Yes. Well, weren't those good? Yes. They're a lot of work. They are. Well, I've gone to flash card, <laughs> but every now and then I use flannel graphs. Very good. Yes. My name is Darlene Francine Mensinger, and I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, and you even got an accent now. Yeah. <laughs> and what does this BBYG reunion mean to you, Darlene? <laughs> Definitely bringing back old friendships and renewing old memories and it's just great to see everybody after all this time. What do you remember about Bob and Lois? Oh, they were such a such a great influence on my life. I mean, I don't think I'd be where I am today if it wasn't for them. Do you, do you remember me or my brother and sister? Oh, yeah. Which one? More so Tim. Yeah, Tim was, I think, your age and was in there. He hung around with Tom a lot, so he was always at our house. <laughs> he remembers Tom. Yeah, he was included in that dark room. Yeah. Well, tell me about that. I don't, I don't even know about that. What's, what's that all about? Well, Tom and Tom was supposed to spend the night with Tim one time or something. They were going to camp out or something. Well, it didn't work out, so Tom asked. Asked mom and dad if Tim could stay there, and they said no, not tonight. Well, Tom went ahead and did it anyway, and he had Tim stay there. And they said, well, you know what? We could just sleep in this dark room, and they'll never know. And so they, they they went to sleep in the dark room, and mom and dad weren't home yet because they were in income tax season, you know. So they were at the office late. And they came home, and we had a dog named Rusty. Rusty knew somebody was down there, so they had their feet against the door, and here's Rusty sniffing down at the bottom of the door, and they could see his shadow down there, and they just kept real quiet, they didn't say anything. Well, then Mom and Dad came down, and they were whispering, they could hear them whispering, you know, and so they went upstairs, and they thought, well, I guess it's all over, we're off the hook, and everything, and pretty soon the doorbell rang. They had called the police. Oh no! And so the police came over oh, no. and went down there and they tried to push the door open. Well, they had their feet against the bottom, so the door just kind of went like that and bounced back, you know? And finally they said, Oh, we're really in trouble. Oh, this is my just, brother? This is your brother. Oh my gosh. And so he said, Okay, let's just let the door go and we'll just pretend like we're asleep. So then the police officer had his flashlight and he opened the door and he, he shined the light in their face and said, well, isn't this your son? <laughs> and Did they think they were dead? <laughs> well, he, see, mom and dad didn't think he was going to be there. Oh, no. They were supposed to go stay somewhere else. That's and so, and then, he, and then he said, well, don't you know where your kids are? Uh -oh. Don't you know where your son is? That's what the police officer said. <laughs> <laughs> Faith and where are you living now? I'm in California. We're about. Ooh. And what's this whole BBYG reunion mean? 
it's wonderful. And it's just been absolutely wonderful to see friends, to make acquaintances again, and just to be and with Bob and Lois and honor them and what a legacy they have. And it's just been great. It's just great. <laughs> well, it was your dad that helped lead me to the Lord, so this whole thing has come full circle. It is. It is. And I, if they have Allows them to look down from heaven. Maybe they will tonight. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing. Faith. Okay. Illinois. And what brought you to this reunion? Old friends. How old? Fifties, <laughs> sixties. Wow. And what does this whole reunion mean to you today? Actually, I think it means a lot. I didn't attend the Bethany Church, but I hung around with a lot of the people from there and name some of the people you hung around with Darlene, Francine, Beth Bavard, Jim Heckle, Linda Rambo, Tom Swanson, the whole crew. And I think I was a part of that group even though I couldn't attend because of the wonderful influence they had on me. That's right. Very good. Well thank you for coming all this way to be a part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, now everybody show a little leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh. 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 Oh.